make sure your gutter is clean and dry. Refer to the manufacturer's installation manual for bonding to different substrates. If necessary, install a ply board in the base of the gutter if the gutter is badly corroded. Stir the FG35 primer. Apply a thin coat of the FG35 primer using a medium pile paint roller or mini roller. Ensure the FG35 primer is dry to the touch. This normally takes around 30 minutes. Measure your gutter base and sides. Copy the dimensions onto the release paper on the reverse side of the gutter lining. Carefully score the release paper with a sharp knife ensuring that the gutter lining is not cut. Position the rubber membrane in the gutter allowing sufficient membrane to form the stop ends. Peel off the first section of release paper from one of the gutter sides, not the base. Fold the membrane back on itself to expose the second section of release paper to be removed for the base. Remove the release paper from the base of the gutter lining and smooth the self-adhesive lining onto the gutter base. Use a seam roller if necessary or stiff brush to press the EPDM gutter lining onto the gutter base and sides. Use a sharp pair of scissors to cut the membrane on the corners to allow it to fold up the stop ends. Remove the centre section of the stop end release paper. Form the stop end pleats or pig's ears. Remove the release paper and bond into position. Trim any excess membrane prior to installing trims or lead flashing on brickwork. Heat weld patches where the membrane has been cut, a minimum 50mm overlap is required for heat welding. An additional section of membrane can be heat welded into position to cover any pleats on the stop end if necessary. Wherever rubber membrane is to be bonded to rubber membrane, this should be heat welded and not stuck with FG35 primer. Heat weld EPDM laps where necessary. Fit your chosen edge trim system 